Well, it's, uh, I'm shooting this video for a day in the life, and um, it's uh, July 24th, 2010, and I guess I'm just letting uh, future generations kind of know what was going on in the life of a, of a resident of the Gulf Coast of Mississippi in 2010. Right now, one of the major things that's actually going on right now that's affecting us is uh, the oil spill. Um, what it is, about three months ago, they had a oil, well, everybody knows the story, but uh, three months ago, they, they had a, uh, a huge uh, rig explosion, oil rig explosion, and, um, you know, the oil is polluting the Gulf Coast, and it's kind of, you know, affecting us right now at this point in time. Um, right now, we're on the beach in, uh, in Wavin, Mississippi, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just one of the one of the sites that we have to, uh, to see every day is the oil spill workers, you know, out along these the beach on the Gulf Coast, you know, until like two months ago, you never saw anybody in hard hats and, uh, and you know full body full body suits out here on the beach picking up tar balls and everything and that's one of the things that started to affect us in recent months so you know on this day that's one of the things that uh the average mississippian well the average resident of the gulf coast you know sees and that's kind of what we're seeing today i was actually trying to uh see if i could find an uh an oil spill cleanup crew to sh you know videotape for y'all on this day but i can't and um I kind of got to hurry up. Uh, it looks like a storm's about to come in today on uh, Ju July 24th. So, um, and I think the reason for this bad weather is because uh, right now there's actually a storm out in the. Uh, I don't think it's in the Gulf yet, but it's a storm. It's a tropical storm Bonnie. That's on its way, you know, into the Gulf right now. I don't know if it's going to affect us too much. I don't know if it's going to hit or anything. It's not that big of a storm, but there is a storm called Bonnie out there right now, and that's one of the things that's uh, going on today. But uh, one of the reasons that I came out came out here, I want to uh, kind of talk about, you know, one of the, one of the reasons that I came out here is because this is the beach that was actually closed down like about two weeks ago because of the oil spill. Now it's it's been affecting us, you know, here and there, but they actually had to shut this beach down about two weeks ago because when the tide came in, they found uh, they said it was like thousands of tar balls all over the beach, all over the road. They had to close down about four miles of uh, this beach, it was either three or four miles, they had to shut it completely down. And, um, you know, I mean, we heard about the oil spill, it affected Louisiana already, we would see the shots of everything on the news, but it doesn't really hit home until you, you come you come down the beach, and I actually have to drive down the beach to get to work, you come down the beach, you see little signs up that say, uh, beach closed. And uh, it's actually one of the signs right here, they have a trash bag over it now, because um, of course the beach is open, because that's how I'm out here. but. Um, you know, it, it really doesn't doesn't hit home until you actually see that on your beach. You know, the beach that you see every day, and you know, you you, you pass by there and you see the beach clothes signs up, and you know, it, it's kind of it's kind of a sad sight, you know, because you know you you're never gonna be able to, and it's not like it was like the water was off limits. It's just that you could never, you couldn't even go on the beach, and to know that um. This is just a little bit of it. Like the whole oil slick hasn't gotten here yet. It's like we're kind of still waiting on it. But um, you know, just just to know that that's that's gonna be affecting you sometime soon is is a sad thing. And um, you know, on this day on July 24th, that's one of the things that's affecting us right now. And it's actually kind of been affecting us for the last two months now. Um, just I believe it was last week they had um I saw it on, I saw a news uh, photo where thousands of little fish washed up on the beaches in Gulfport. And you know, I didn't, I, I wouldn't, we actually live, well, Gulfport is the same beach and it's actually maybe about 20 miles uh, down Highway 90 from here. So, um, you know, and all, all of this is the same area. You know, this is all the same beach. So, you know, even though the fish may have not washed up here, it's still letting you know that the situation is real because it's affecting our waters, you know? And, um, you know, just, um, Maybe maybe about three weeks ago, they actually found, I believe it was a pelican covered in oil. They actually found an oily pelican, you know, right right down here. The oil, the um, the uh, cleanup crew workers, not the cleanup crew, but some of the the people that actually uh, clean out the animals, they uh, they had to actually come up there and uh, and pick it up, you know. And that, that's a sad thing because um, I don't know. It's 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 just that you know, even even though it's 2010. We as humans, we, we still, we're still not as in control of everything as we think we are. You know, it's like once the oil spill happened, it was, um, 
it's kind of like everybody started thinking then. It's like nobody was prepared for anything. It's kind of like as soon as the oil spill happened, that's when everybody like, okay, let's let's put our heads together and try to figure out, you know, a solution for this. And you know, even even though it's 2010, we still, you know, um, we it's like what am I trying to say. You know, even though it's 2010, we as humans, we're still not as in control of the things of our, we're still not in, as in control of this world as, as we think we are. And, you know, at times we kind of forget that. Now, us as, as humans, we've, we've kind of destroyed, we're destroying this, uh, this habitat, you know, for these animals. And, you know, it's not their fault. It's us coming in and destroying it. And then when something goes wrong, you know, we don't know what to do about it. I mean, yeah, we can, we can think all we want, and I'm sure, you know, we're at the top of the chain, so I'm sure we're gonna come up with some sort of solution. But in a situation like this, there's really nothing you can do about it because, you know, this is one of those things that um, can never actually be undone. You know, it's not like, uh, you know, Surf Pro where they can make it like it never happened because, you know, the Exxon Valdez disaster happened in either, I believe it was 1987 or 1988. You know, I was a baby at the time, but um, it happened way back then. And then I saw, it happened way back then. And I saw like on, I saw something that was saying uh, some traces of that was still there right now, like today in small bodies of water. So, you know, small bodies of water up there. So, you know, this is bigger than that. So just imagine how long this is gonna affect us on the Gulf Coast. And, you know, I didn't mean, I don't really want to just go, you know, all into about the oil spill, but I figured I could throw that in because, you know, that, that is one of the things that's affecting us on any given day down here on the Gulf Coast. So I'm going to go ahead and try, I'm going to try to turn the camera around and uh, just give you a little shot of the beach real quick. I'm not going to turn the camera off and because uh, one, one thing is that uh, <laughs> that battery is about dead because I've actually been riding along the beach and I have more videos up, but I'm going to try to keep it on. But yeah, and actually, right here, daily, we still see sites of Katrina damage. And what this is, this is Katrina damage. This is uh, just one of the, the little piers that hadn't been completely rebuilt. And you know, I'm not, I'm not making this video necessarily about Katrina damage. And actually, not, I'm not gonna say Katrina damage, but these are some of the, I guess you could say, uh, man, what word am I looking for? But anyway, these are some of the remnants of uh, the Katrina damage. Actually, before before the storm came, before the hurricane came, the uh, Katrina, these were houses. And as you can see right now, it's just the uh, platforms that they were raised up on on the stilts. And as you can see, they didn't help out too much because uh, the Katrina, you know, was so bad. But uh yeah, all along here were houses, and this is just one of the daily sites that we see living along the Gulf Coast in uh, Mississippi. Um, you know, I mean, it, it's great living down here. I've lived down here all my life, but um, and you know, over the past five years, you you really don't even notice the uh, Katrina damage anymore because it's been here so long. Like this, this pier right here, I think this is the first time I've ever actually even walked out here by this pier. But you know, when we when we see something like torn down, especially when it's along the beach road, you know, it's just we just know it's Katrina damage, so we really don't worry about it. And uh, this right here, this is actually one of the signs that has beach clothes wrote on it. Of course, they have the they have a trash bag over it right now. But um, she was just two weeks ago. You couldn't t set foot out here on this beach because you know the tar balls everywhere. I don't I don't know you know how they deemed it safe to come out here now unless this area wasn't affected and they just put this wasn't affected too much and they just kind of put the signs up to um you know to, for you know safe measures but you know um yeah that's just uh one of the sites that you see living down here on the Gulf Coast June July oh, I keep saying June well that's just one of the sites you see living down here on the Gulf Coast in uh, July 24th 2010 uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take it on home. It's almost time for me to go to work So I get back to the truck, but um, but yeah, this is this is what I see every day, man 